Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphanim. Are you seeing what's happening? Listen, the judge ruled XRP is not a security. Didn't I say it? Didn't I tell you? Didn't Harvard Law tell you? Every Listen, this is a moment in history. The prices are exploding for XRP and XLM. Let's read this little tidbit here. This is going to be the video for the day. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> are you seeing the gains? <laughs> Never doubt us. <laughs> oh, this is a good day. It's a great day. As a matter of fact, go check the charts. If you, if you haven't checked the charts, check the charts. I can't tell you stop what you're doing. Drop what you're doing. I'm telling you now, if you don't know, look, it's everything is exploding. Everything. It says major uh, ripple victory. This is from zcrypto.com. XRP pops in ballistic rally. Who that's conservative to say we're, like, we're going off right now. Last I checked, XRP was at 79 cents. XLM was at 14 cents. Ballistic rally as judge is official. Finally rules it isn't a security. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a little excited. You got to permit me that. This has been a long time coming. My brother sent me a message. Said, Mick, you seen what's going on? I've been watching it for hours. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. So now it says here, Ripple Labs scored, Ripple Labs? No, XRP holders. XRP holders scored a major victory. But let's read it. Ripple Labs has scored a major vic court victory today after the federal judge presiding over the American blockchain payments company's case against the Securities and Exchange Commission ruled the XRP token. It's almost time to, well, we're playing right now. It's time to play. Yay. I told, didn't I tell, I told you. Commission ruled that XRP token is not a security. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's go, as everybody says in the conversation. Let's go. Following the monumental ruling, that could essentially reshape. It has not. It could reshape. It has reshaped crypto history. The bank coins can play now. The bank coins can play. We can tap into those gains. And don't get me wrong, this is one step, but look at the prices going up, baby. Reshape crypto history, XRP exploded by over 35%. It's still going up. Everybody's trying to get in. Did you also see it was relisted on the Canadian exchange? They're getting in on the dance. They're gobbling up the XRP. Before it hits $1, they're trying to get all that XRP. This is why we've been stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking. Yes, we knew all along. Let's keep it going. Judge delivers vital summary judgment verdict. U.S. Judge, the Honorable Annalisa Torres, put some respect on her name. I told you don't doubt the judge. I told you. You love the judge now, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you, do. you like the judge. You got to write a thank you. No, I'm just kidding. But come on now. I knew it. Everything was slanting in our favor. <sighs> U.S. And I know I'm excited. I know we still got a little bit ways to go. I know. But look at what's happening. This is great. This is absolutely fantastic. U.S. Judge District, uh, U.S. Judge, <laughs> Judge District, U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres has granted summary judgment in favor of Ripple, indicating that the XRP token is not a security. Torres asserted the, that programmatic sales to public buyers and distributions of XRP to Ripple's employees do, did not constitute the sale of unregistered securities. Take that, X SEC. How's it feel to lose, SEC? She, however, ruled $728 million worth of contracts for institutional sales did constitute unregistered security sales, and those investors, quote, would have purchased XRP with expectation that they would derive profits from Ripple's efforts, unquote. Hey, whatever it takes to get us there. Torres noted, quote, therefore, having considered the economic reality and totality of circumstances surrounding institutional sales, the court concludes that Ripple's institutional sales of XRP constituted the unregistered offer and sale of investment contracts in violation of Section 5 of the Securities Act. Okay, so where does this lead? This is in a lawsuit logged in 2020 by the SEC against Ripple and its executive CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, and co-founder Chris Larson. The regulator aimed to compel Ripple to stop offering XRP to customers under the assertion that XRP was a security. By granting the summary judgment motion, Torres leaves the case open until a jury can weigh in at trial or if Ripple and SEC reach a settlement. So there you go. But we get to play right now. All right. So it says here, 
XRP skyrockets 35.5%. They're giving us some old prices from like an hour ago. Like I said, it was at 79 cents. XLM was at 14 cents. Last I checked, it was a couple, a little while ago. Maybe about 20, 20, 30 minutes ago. So, <laughs> so that's the news for now, folks. Listen, I, I really don't ask. Hit that like button, spread the good news, leave a comment. It doesn't matter what you do. Today's a day of celebration. Oh, man, may all the goodness be with you. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I definitely am. Huge, huge step forward, huge leap forward. Uh, we'll see where, where the price goes by the end of the day. I am. I'm very excited. Man, I love to see this activity. And now with that coming out, XRP is in the security just watch who's going to get in. They're going to be gobbling. They're already gobbling it all up. So you let me know your thoughts on everything going forward, how you're feeling today. So we'll come back tomorrow for a regular video. I'm a little bit too excited today to go through everything else. I think this is all the news we need for today. And I think people are going to be watching those, those numbers go up, watching those gains in those cold wallets <laughs> go up. Oh, man. So. We'll reconvene tomorrow. I will post some articles later on in the, in the members only section. So. Now that you have that information, got to let the head just got to let the head nod a little bit. I appreciate every single one of you out there. So now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. So until next time, let's get to the Monday.